positive grid bias effects and I had some trouble installing it on Catalina uh, on a new uh, MacBook Pro and so I just wanted to save you some trouble maybe you were having a hard time too so uh, if you want to install this and get it to work with GarageBand you go to positive grid and uh, under software by SFX2 there is a free uh, trial there is a, uh, a cheaper version uh, I recommend the Elite it's definitely worth the money in my opinion uh, but once you buy it or start the free trial you go to your downloads page and uh, if you want it to run in GarageBand then you have to get the AU version I, I thought I could do it with the standalone but the standalone will let you run uh, and it works pretty well but uh, it just works by itself so you can't do uh, tracking with that if you want it to run inside of GarageBand or another DAW like Logic Pro or Pro Tools or, or whatever uh, you need the AU VST version uh, you click download and it's a it's a couple gigs uh, I've already downloaded it so we'll cancel that so once you get it uh, downloaded uh, go to your downloads and uh, when you start to uh, let's see there it is all right so you click on it and a new thing with uh, with your uh, Catalina and the new security settings it's not going to recognize it as uh, a, an application that's safe uh, so you have to actually go into your security settings in order to get it uh, to install properly so it's going to try to verify it and it gives you this screen and it can't be opened because it can't be checked so you click OK you go to your security settings uh, and on your general tab here's how you click open anyway uh, and that's going to take you through the install steps uh, and I've already installed it so we don't need to do that once you get it installed then you go over to GarageBand uh, and a couple things you need to check there so you go to your preferences and you want to make sure that enable uh, wait no <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't help you you go to the audio MIDI tab and you want to make sure that uh, enable audio units is checked so make sure that's checked and then go over here make sure uh, under view that it says uh, your smart controls are enabled. You want to show smart controls. That's going to give you this screen down here. Now, if you installed it and you had GarageBand open at the same time, you're going to need to restart GarageBand or it won't work. Uh, but once you've restarted GarageBand, you go down here to the plugins and uh, you click uh, to expand that here. And to get bias effects to show up, you click. Uh, to expand this and scroll down to audio units positive grid bias effects uh, and that's going to open it up uh, and it's going to allow you to track straight into GarageBand you've got your audio interface or your iRig uh, then that's going to let you uh, use all all your options here uh, you got tons of uh, really good sounding amps you got to play around with it depending on the tone of your guitar uh, to get uh, the sound you like but you got some really good settings right off the bat the American Dream uh, is a good one uh, and uh, let's say you want a nice clean sound uh, you go to blues and down dancing in a room uh, and every time you change something that's gonna want to know if you if you want to save uh, once you select that uh, then you go over here and uh, you can turn on and off with this button uh, you can select each effect uh, double click on it there and you can turn it on or off right there uh, you can mess with your tone this is kind of like a tube screamer uh, like the Ibanez uh, pedal it's really really a nice uh, sound there you can change uh, your cabinets you can change the mic position, get a different tone. You got just infinite varieties of tone here. Uh, you got some some good uh, rack reverbs if you uh, if you want to change 
that or add something to it, uh, you got a whole range of things here that you can you can add in. So you can dial in virtually any tone. Now, if you want to take the Frast track, you can click the uh, this button here, go over to pedal board, and you can search for things that people have already identified. So I can do Van Halen. Uh, and you get several options there. Uh, I you can sort it by popularity, and that's going to give you ones that people like more. Uh, I really like this one right here. Uh, so you can download it, uh, tell it to go in a bank, and then suddenly you sound like uh, Van Halen. Uh, so. Uh, then to access that, so you've downloaded it, now you have to go to your bank and there's the one that you just downloaded. Uh, every time you change something, it's gonna ask if you wanna save. Uh, if you get a sound you like uh, and you wanna get back to it quickly, just hold down one of these quick snap buttons and that lets you save whatever settings you're on and, and it'll go there very quickly. Uh, really like this uh, digital delay. Uh, you can switch right here will let you change it to like a an eighth uh, note slap back kind of thing or you can do the beats per minute uh, really really good sounds uh, from from all the effects on here uh, it's the next spec next best thing to, to having it real and once you start playing it tracks right into GarageBand so there you have it keep playing